Hey everybody, today I'm gonna make a chicken and rice and gravy recipe. Um, everything is pre-cooked in this. I went ahead and made some rice this morning. I have made this recipe using uncooked rice and I have a video on it, but today I thought I would uh, make this and have the rice already cooked because sometimes the rice uh, when it's uncooked will kind of brown and burn onto the casserole dish and you know that's not good so anyway I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this and then uh, and tell you where I got things and then maybe you'll want to make it so I'm going to take the camera down the first thing we're going to do was make our gravy but I wanted to show you I buy this chicken at Sam's Club it's three dollars and 98 cents and usually i buy the breast but they didn't have any when i was there the other day but this is the thighs and the legs and what i think it is is when they make the rotisserie chicken and sometimes uh, some of the chicken will fall apart and so they just um make up these uh packages of it and sell it you know all thighs or all legs and so forth so um i think it's a really good deal and i'm trying to get that out of the way but it's not doing good okay here's what we're gonna do i'm gonna put some olive oil in our pot we're, we're making the gravy right now and i want to have plenty of gravy so I'm putting olive oil in there. You can use whatever kind of oil that you want. And I'm gonna take from some of these pieces of meat, the skin, I'm just gonna pull it off and I'm gonna cut it up in there. Because you know when you fry chicken and you have little bits of um, goodness that stays in the pan, this is kind of representing that. So this should get good and crispy, the part of the skin I'm taking off. And I have the burner on, so it's gonna start sizzling in just a second. So I'm just looking for skin right now to take off and crisp up. I really enjoy uh, chicken and rice and especially this rotisserie chicken is always real good. And you don't have to put this much in it if you don't want to. I just am. It's completely whatever you want to do where you don't have to do this step at all. Once again, I turned the wrong burner on. So let me put it back here. I have, this is the third time I have done that. And one time I broke my casserole dish and another time I burned a hole in a brand new thing of olive oil. So I'm glad that I caught that before it burned. And believe it or not, I have started being very cautious about turning the burner on and trying to have the right one on but apparently I'm not doing good enough so anyway the oil is um, got hot and it's kind of uh, cooking this skin it gives you those little crispies and gives the um, dish flavor I want to rinse my hands that was taking a long time to 
speed up. So anyway, I'm gonna cut it down a little bit, about a little bit over medium. And now I'm uh, going to make, or going to add some flour because I'm making a roux for our gravy. And as I think I said, I want to make a uh, pretty much gravy. We like it a lot. So if you're cooking your chicken yourself before, uh, I mean, or for this recipe, then you don't have to make the gravy like I'm making it here. You can just make it from the grease you use to cook your chicken. But because this chicken was already cooked when I bought it, I'm making um, the gravy this way. So this should be enough flour in it. And my mama always said to cook your um, flour until it browned a little bit because it gets rid of that flour taste. So that's what I've always tried to do. So now that that's gotten a little color in it, I'm going to start adding water. You can add milk if you want to, but for this particular recipe, I want to add water and add it slowly. Now cut the heat down a little bit more. Anytime you make gravy, you want to add the milk or the water to it slowly. And because this is going to go in the oven, I'm going to make it a little thinner than I normally would because uh, it's going to thicken in the oven. I'm doing a, mo a video. So my daughter and some of my grandchildren just came. This is my grandson, Isaiah. You look like a bandit with that over your face. He just turned, what was it, 32? Yeah, 21. 21. 21. He's getting, he's making me look old. So, anyway. Yummy food. Thank you. Back to the recipe. Uh, this looks about right. It's a little thinner than I normally would want it. Maybe I'll add just a little bit more because it really does thicken up. And you can add a little salt and pepper. And the last thing I want to do to the gravy is I'm using some of this better than bouillon chicken flavor, or it's roasted chicken flavor base. And I wanna put a little bit of that in there. So I'm gonna put about that much. I think that's about a teaspoonful. Just to give it, be sure it's got the chicken flavor. So, I'll get that stirred up and the gravy will be ready. And I have my oven on 400 preheating. Now I'm going to take the casserole dish that I almost burned up. And I have already sprayed it with um, uh, some Pam. And I made some rice, just regular long grain rice. 
Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to put that in yet. What I'm going to do is put some of the gravy in first. So that'll help keep it from getting hard. And now, put the rice in. And you put whatever amount of rice that you want, whatever amount you think your family will eat. And I made uh, a cup and a half of rice, of uncooked rice. So that's about three cups of cooked rice. So I'm gonna use all of it in this and just spread it out and then you put your chicken whether you've cooked it yourself or um, bought it pre-cooked a rotisserie chicken or whatever you want to do you can even put raw rice in here and uh, but I feel like it might kind of overcook the I mean, raw chicken in here, but I feel like it might kind of overcook the cooked rice some, but you just do whatever you think. Then I'm going to add my chicken. And I'm going to go ahead no, I'm not. I was going to go ahead and try to just squeeze that other piece on there, but I'm not. Now, just pour the gravy over this. back a little bit from the edge now I'm gonna put this in the oven 400 degrees for about 30 minutes I want the chicken to be good and thoroughly heated through so um, if I think that it's getting maybe too um, if the gravy's getting too browned or anything I'll Lay, just lay a piece of um, aluminum foil over it, but um, I won't wrap it up. But it should probably be fine no longer than that. So when it's uh, ready to come out of the oven, I will come back. I am so sorry to tell you that I had a problem uh, that I did not realize when I filmed the part of video where we um, I showed it to you after it was done and we tasted it so instead of just um, getting rid of the first part because that's really the most important part I thought I would just talk to you about the um, the part that got messed up the last part anyway the uh, recipe uh, turned out beautifully uh, it lightly browned just a tiny bit and it was the best gravy I have ever eaten it was so good um, I suggest that if you get the opportunity to make uh, some gravy like that sometime because I feel like you'll love it and the chicken was so good Kaylin and Randy both but especially Kaylin could not get enough of it she just said that was the best chicken ever and it was really good um, there's nothing really that I would change with it. Uh, probably I made too much rice because I do like a lot of gravy on my rice and it did cook down into the rice, um, the gravy I made. So uh, other than that, uh, it was so good. And I wish that the problem hadn't happened so you could see it, but I hope that you make it and enjoy it as much as my family did and um thank you for watching have a wonderful day 
and do something nice for someone and yourself. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.